18. After they graduate from high school, I would say that if they go to college, obviously they would move out for that. If they don't decide to go to college, like say they want to go to a trade school or something, then they could stay at home while they go to that trade school, but they need to be thinking about their plan as being a productive adult in society and not living in my house anymore. Start thinking about it at 18 or leave, Good. or a couple years later. <laughs> Non c'è un'età. Quando sono pronti di lasciare la casa, quando hanno le condizioni giuste per lasciare la casa, perché ci deve essere l'età prestabilita. Ti volevo cacciare via di casa io molto presto. Ti sei cacciata da sola. <ride>I guess I don't really think it's just the kids responsibility I kind of feel like you know it's the whole family's responsibility to try to get together because we all kind of are all over the place so I feel like you know we're all accountable for that and I think my kids make it a point then like Kylie and Cody try to make it a point to get here once in a while and you guys do too but I don't think that I have like some hard and fast written rule in my head like you have to come once every six it, you know I get it with the money and everyone's spread all over so I think we just all do what we can to be together as much as possible una volta a settimana, a pranzo una domenica, la sera, il venerdì, un'uscita il sabato a mangiare la pizza tutti insieme, una volta a settimana, minimo. Yes, I did want my kids to help with the chores around the house. However, you know, because Jim and I both worked and we were a busy family. We had obviously cleaning people to come clean the house. So there wasn't like some massive chores that these kids had to do. We literally had a list of, you know, feed the cats, clean the cat box, empty the dishwasher and close the blinds or something, you know, like simple. Each week they rotated the chores and whoever had dishwasher complained for the entire week because that was like the hardest chore that my kids ever had to do. So that'll just give you a little insight to the life that my children have led up until this point. <laughs> no. no. Già lo devono fare poi, per tanto tempo, perché farlo anche da piccoli? No, non è che mi interessa un granché. Delle piccole regole, però, quelle piccole regole che secondo me fanno parte della vita civile. È chiaro che se mangiavano in salone e buttavano tutto per terra, no. Oppure giocavano tutti i giocattoli sparsi per la camera. C'è il momento del gioco, il momento da aiutare anche qualche volta e eh, ogni tanto quando si ricordavano sistemare qualcosa, però insomma non era certo una priorità. Um, you know, at first when I had my first kid, it was a little bit scary that I had to take them to daycare because I was a working mom. But there was really never any discussion about me being a stay-at-home mom because I had a career and it was a pretty good job, so I couldn't really give that up. But yeah, no, the first time I had to do it, I didn't like it. And actually I drove there every day at lunch when Kylie was a baby in daycare and breastfed her. Oh, wow. Because I was just like so nervous about having a new baby and so I drove over there every day at lunch. Andava bene senz'altro perché dovevo lavorare, quindi non c'erano alternative. Secondo, non credo che sia così indispensabile poi questo rapporto 24 ore su 24. I figli stanno un periodo a scuola o con la babysitter e poi vivono il tempo che rimane con i genitori. Non vedo qual è il problema. L'importante è che sia una persona fidata ed Elena lo era. Ciao Elena! <ride> went back and forth on that when our kids were little because I think we would give them an allowance and then they'd spend it and then they'd want more money to like go to the movies with their friends or something. So it became like this thing like what exactly is the allowance for and then what will we do on top of it. So I think we finally just quit doing the allowance and just gave them money when they needed it because it just became more of a hassle than anything else. See. Sí. 
perché è il modo pure per eh, insegnare loro come gestire i soldi quindi secondo me è una buona scuola di vita però paghetta I think they should cook every night as I do. <laughs> um, I do think a, a mom should cook for their family and when my kids were living at home I cooked a lot more than I do now. But I, I don't really think that a, a mom should have to cook every single night. Like even if they don't work. Staying home with your kids is a lot of work too and my family's always been cool with like you know we'd be like okay it's fix it yourself night and the kids you know they actually liked that. You know, my husband's always been very self-independent with the food and stuff. I love to cook, but I don't have the energy to cook a meal every single night for... Oddio, una domanda troppo... Perché no? Però non per questo che deve essere solo una mamma. Pure il papà potrebbe cucinare laddove magari è presente a casa. Cucina, secondo me, chi ha più tempo disponibile, chi ha più passione, perché poi comunque la cucina è una passione, è bello, io questo non avevo problemi perché mi è sempre piaciuto cucinare, non mi piaceva fare niente a casa, ma cucinare sì. Um. So when they were little, I spanked them, which did not work. I learned that really quickly. And it was more of a pain for me than them. Like they did not care. Personally, and I know it's obviously a personal choice for everybody, I chose not to do it that way because it, for me it just didn't work. And I just had to do other things like taking stuff away or grounding them or time out or whatever. But the whole, you know, whatever it's called, corporal punishment like which I was never that bad with them anyway but no I'm, I'm I wasn't like that allora no, non si fa, non è giusto, non è una cosa che va fatta, però certamente può capitare la volta che magari sei più nervosa non... e, e ti capita magari la sculacciata, però vabbè, non credo che sia poi questo metodo di insegnamento così importante o infallibile. I can't, well, I mean, I'm not saying never. I can't think of a good reason that I would be, or Jim would be, especially Jim, would be okay with our kids living with us until they were 30 for no good reason. Absolutely not. No. Uh-uh. Sì, anche 40, 50, me ne vado via io, non c'è problema. Loro rimangono a casa e io esco. Sì, 30 anni, cioè, sì. Se non rompono più di tanto, per me va benissimo. Non c'è problema. Thank you for the interview. For... You're welcome. Go Air Force One. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Grazie. Saluta. Ciao. Sei libera. <laughs>